There's many benefits to improving your nitric oxide levels, but what happens to them when you eat chocolate? This study published in the Journal of Hypertension wanted to see if the extraordinary concentrations of flavanols found in cacao would activate nitric oxide and subsequently promote vasodilation, which helps blood flow throughout the body. So they had 27 people consume flavanol-rich cacao for five days, and they showed what they called in the study consistent and striking peripheral vasodilation, which was especially strong on day five. And this is pretty impressive because there's not a lot of things that will show major benefits in just five days. And they also wanted to make sure that they were correct in their assumption that it was nitric oxide increases that were causing this vasodilation. So they injected these people then with something called nitro-L-arginine methyl ester. And this is a nitric oxide synthesis inhibitor. So if the vasodilation was indeed a consequence of the cacao increasing nitric oxide levels, this would stop it. So then they would have the chocolate, not have the nitric oxide, and therefore not have the vasodilation. And indeed, that's what happened. Once they injected them with this, the vasodilation was no longer happening. Now, you might also be wondering, okay, this is what happens in five days. What happens over longer time periods? So let's look at another study from the Journal of the American Medical Association. Here, this was done over 18 weeks, and study participants either got 6.3 grams of dark chocolate or a white chocolate, which was free of polyphenols. And just to give you a bit of perspective, 6.3 grams of dark chocolate, that is a tiny amount of chocolate. That's not gonna satisfy anybody. Usually a serving of chocolate is somewhere between 25 to 50 grams. And here we're looking at just 6.3 grams of dark chocolate. And the participants in this study were either in the upper range of pre-hypertension or in stage one hypertension. And they found a decrease in the mean systolic and diastolic blood pressures. And the prevalence of hypertension decreased from 86% to 68% over the course of the study. And they found that these people were experiencing a sustained increase in nitric oxide. So it's great that cacao has so many benefits so we can add to that list that it's helping with nitric oxide production and subsequently with vasodilation and blood flow throughout the body and all the great benefits that come from that. If you like having chocolate before a workout or before any other kind of activity where you might like to have good blood flow, let me know down in the comments. And before you go, here's a video that I think you'd enjoy watching next and here's one the YouTube algorithm thinks you'd enjoy watching next. Have a great day and I look forward to seeing you all again next time.